I will show you an amazing, easy and budget friendly tool that can help you find hundreds of keywords with search volume data for pennies on a dollar. Go to keywordseverywhere.com and install one of the extensions available for Chrome, Firefox or Edge. I'm using Chrome so I will click on that option. You will be prompted to add it to your browser. Once it is installed, it will appear at the top on the ribbon. You can easily turn it on or off with the green button. To see volume data, you have to purchase credits, but they really, really go a long way for what you get compared to so many super pricey options such as SEMrush or Ahrefs at over $100 per month. At the top, you can specify what kind of volume data you see, global or one of the other countries listed. In order to access the paid features such as volume data, which is what we want, you need to go to settings and enter your API key. To get the API key, select the option at the top and enter your email address where to send it. Within seconds, you will receive a key that you need to copy and paste to your settings. Then click validate. Now you're ready to use the Keywords Everywhere extension. Let's test it on YouTube first. Once you start entering the search query on YouTube, notice search volume data next to the suggested search terms. Underneath your search term, volume data shows up. I will show you later how to make it more visible by changing your settings. On the right next to the results, you have two widgets with different search volume data. First is a search insight about your search keywords. It gives you volume per month data, top channel, maximum views, etc. The people also search widget lists frequent related keywords with volume data that you can quickly add to your favorite keyword list. At the bottom of the search insights widget, notice a detailed breakdown link. Once you click on it, you will see the top 20 to 50 videos for this search term. That table provides a lot of very helpful competition data, such as link to the video, channel name, views for each video, when it was published, etc. And the best thing is that you can export it to Excel. Truly amazing. You can do research on many keywords and combine them all into one giant Excel file. Another widget that you can get on YouTube are the most used tags, which is similar to people also search widget. It gives you volume data and an option to quickly save the keywords to your list. Every widget also has the option to copy or export the data to CSV or Excel file. When you click individual video, you will see two different keyword data. The Video Insights gives you detailed data on the individual video, the number of views per day, engagement, and channel statistics. The Tags widget lists the tags used in the video that you may want to use on a similar video you create. Similarly to YouTube, when you perform a search on Google and have the Keywords Everywhere extension turned on, you will see monthly search volume data. You can change your search term to a longer tail keyword search. Once the results are listed on the right, you will have a basic data on the search term difficulty and an option to see a detailed breakdown. You will have a list of most popular websites for this term with domain authority info. So you know who you're competing with. As is the case with Keywords Everywhere, you can export that information. Additionally, at the top, you can select to find other long tail keywords. Depending on the search term, you will get a list and volume data for many longer search terms that may be easier to compete against. The related keywords widget shows you a list of alternative search terms. You can save all the keywords to your list or export everything as a CSV file. Before we continue, let me show you how you can control the results and which widgets are available for you. At the top, you can control which metrics is shown for you in addition to volume data. You can also select to have high volume data highlighted so it is easier to spot 
good keyword opportunities. Specify at what volume you want your data to be highlighted. By default, the Keywords Everywhere extension runs on many large websites using your credits. If you only want it to run on certain sites such as YouTube, Google, Amazon, first turn them all off at the top. Then select only the ones you want to save your credits. You can also turn off some of the widgets that show up when you search. Let's revisit Google now after we change our settings. Now I can easily spot search terms with higher than 2000 searches per month as they are highlighted in bright green. Additionally, now some widgets data is turned off by default, but I still have the option to load the metric data if I want. I also can see how many credits it would cost me. Another amazing metric that you can pull with the Keywords Everywhere extension is website data. First, pick a website or a page. Then select the Get Top Ranking Pages option under Keywords Everywhere extension. This tool reveals the website's top pages based on estimated monthly traffic. It's a fantastic way to discover what topics are attracting visitors potentially inspiring a video content for your channel. You can copy or export that information. Now, before you do so, you will want to change the number of results that are shown. Otherwise, you will only get as many as are displayed on the page. I will select the maximum of 5,000 entries and then export it to Excel. Once I have the data in Excel, I can go through it and highlight the pages that get a lot of traffic and maybe help me be inspired on a new content. Note, you won't be able to get top page ranking for some of the largest websites. It will result with either a zero result or a message letting you know that the domain has too many pages to index and so the query would be too slow for the Keywords Everywhere server. Another helpful metric is the organic ranking keywords for the domain. This gives you the keywords that were used to find that website. I can add all the highlighted keywords to my favorite keyword list. The exported file provides one year of volume data. If you select the organic ranking keywords not for the domain, but for the URL, what you get is only the keywords used to find that particular page. Keywords Everywhere also lets you perform a bold keyword search. Enter as many search terms as you want up to 5,000, separate it by comma and click the Get Metrics button. In addition to the volume data, you can see cost per click CPC data and the level of competition for the specific keyword. Click the star on the left of each keyword list to save it to your favorites or add all highlighted at once. If you have a large list result, you can filter it down by providing additional criteria. I will specify volume of at least 400 searches per month. And if I still have too many terms for my liking, I will add another criteria of at least 40 cents CPC. At any point, you can reset the filters if they are too narrow. If you have keywords listed in an Excel file, you can copy them and paste them right into the bulk data tool to speed up the process. During all my Keyword Everywhere activity, I have saved many keywords to my favorite keyword list. To see them all, select Favorite Keyword List under the Extension Options. You can see that I have 5,383 entries listed over 54 pages. That's a lot of volume data and other metrics. If I export it to Excel now, it will only export what is shown on the first page. But before I fix that, I will also remove some of the search terms that had zero global volume. You can select multiples and select the delete selected keyword button. But that is hard to spot the zero volume terms. So I will first sort the volume data by clicking on the arrow next to it then I will select multiple zero volume terms and delete them. Be careful though which button you press. The first one deletes the selected items, while the second deletes the unselected. 
I wish they looked different. Now I will sort the data with the highest volume at the top and then select to show maximum number of entries. Once exported, you can see the amazing number of metrics I was able to download. I can manipulate the information here and highlight potential new content ideas. Now, how much all of this cost? I paid $11 a year ago for 100,000 credits that are good for one year. I was way too conservative using this tool. So when I received a notification that my credits were to expire in a week, I went on a frenzy to pull keyword on YouTube and Google and website data. I spent a week heavily performing searches and downloading Excel files into one giant keyword master file and managed still to be left with over 71,000 of credits that expired yesterday. Currently, the way Keywords Everywhere works is you get 100,000 credits for $21, which is still a bargain. When you compare it to such tools as SEMrush or Ahrefs at over $100 per month. Thanks so much for watching.